There's a number of questions about the life and teachings of Jesus, and some uh, suggest that the debate about theism or atheism is too abstract. Um, what difference does it make, essentially, to think about God as the biblical God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, or the life and teaching of Jesus for human morality? It's hard to summarize each of these, but one might, maybe we'll ask Professor Hare to say something more concretely about the life and teachings of Jesus. But Professor Singer uh, referred to helping the poor. Um, what, how else do you understand the, not just theism or atheism, but the role of Jesus Christ and his life and teachings for an understanding of morality? <clears throat> In 30 seconds, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Jesus is a model for me of, of, of how human life should be, of uh, giving his life for others and reaching out to, to the weakest. But if it's just a model, then, and this is Kierkegaard's point, it produces despair <laughs> because uh, I don't seem to be able to live that way uh, by my own resources. So it's important to me that um, with the model, with the example, comes power to live that way. God actually helps us to live the way God asks us to live. And God forgives us when we don't. Those two things are very important, the power and the forgiveness. Uh, so taking Jesus' life and teachings, I would have to add in his death and his resurrection, and then, then that's what I would say. And it, this is all now within the life of the church. So as I said before, I think the life of the church is very helpful because it's a community in which one can be held accountable to the standards that, that uh, Jesus showed for us. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.